in a remote village on Earth, a mysterious event occurred that would change the course of two worlds. Late one night, under a sky glittering with stars, a brilliant flash of light tore through the sky. The villagers looked up, bewildered, as an alien spaceship landed softly in the nearby forest. These aliens were not invaders but desperate beings from a distant planet called Xylar. Their home was dying, and their only hope for survival lay in a powerful crystal known as the Xylian Heart. This crystal, a source of immense energy, had been stolen by a rogue human who possessed the ability to teleport across planets. The man, named Ethan, had discovered his extraordinary power after a freak accident in a scientific lab. Realizing he could jump between worlds, he began to explore the universe, driven by curiosity and a thirst for adventure. During one of his interplanetary escapades, he stumbled upon the Xylian Heart. Unaware of its significance, he took the crystal, intending to study its properties back on Earth. The Xylians, however, could not survive without the Xylian Heart. Their planet's core was destabilizing, and the crystal was the only thing that could restore balance. They tracked Ethan to Earth, their last chance to retrieve the crystal and save their world. Leading the Xylian mission was Zoran, a tall, silver-skinned alien with piercing blue eyes. Zoran and his team disembarked from their ship and made their way to the village. They knew they had to act quickly, as the window to save their planet was rapidly closing. Zoran used a small device to locate the crystal's energy signature. It led them to Ethan, who was hiding in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the village. As the aliens approached, Ethan tried to teleport away, but Zoran anticipated his move. Using advanced Xylian technology, they created a teleportation dampening field around the area, trapping Ethan. Cornered, Ethan had no choice but to face the aliens. Zoran stepped forward and explained their dire situation. He described the devastation on Xylar, the suffering of his people, and the vital importance of the crystal. Seeing the sincerity and desperation in Zoran's eyes, Ethan realized the gravity of his mistake. Moved by their plight, Ethan agreed to return the Xylian heart. He handed the crystal to Zoran, who immediately activated it. The crystal glowed with an intense blue light, signaling its readiness to be used. The Xylians were relieved, knowing their planet could now be saved. But Zoran had one final request. He asked Ethan to accompany them to Xylar and use his teleportation ability to help stabilize the planet's core more effectively. Ethan agreed, feeling a sense of responsibility and redemption. The Xylians and Ethan boarded the spaceship, and within moments, they were traveling across the stars to Xylar. Upon arrival, Ethan was awestruck by the alien planet's beauty, despite its current state of turmoil. Working together, Ethan and the Xylians placed the Xylian heart into the planet's core. With a blinding flash, the crystal's energy spread throughout Xylar, restoring balance and saving the planet from destruction. The Xylians celebrated their renewed hope and expressed their deepest gratitude to Ethan. He had not only returned their lifeline but had also become a hero in their eyes. As Ethan spent more time on Xylar, he found himself growing closer to one of the aliens named Lyra. Lyra was a brilliant scientist with an unparalleled understanding of the Xylian heart and its connection to their planet. Her skin shimmered with a soft lavender hue, and her eyes, deep and expressive, held the weight of her people's struggles and hopes. From the moment Ethan met Lyra, he was struck by her intelligence and dedication. She was the one who initially explained the intricate workings of the Xylian heart to him, showing him how vital it was to their survival. Despite the dire situation, she carried an aura of calm and determination that inspired those around her. One evening, after a particularly challenging day of work, Lyra and Ethan sat by one of these lakes. The moons cast a soft glow on the water, and the air was filled with a soothing hum from the planet's energy fields. It was a rare moment of peace amid their mission. As they talked, Ethan opened up about his life on Earth, his accidental discovery of his teleportation ability, and his regrets about taking the Xylian heart. Lyra listened with compassion, her eyes never leaving his. She shared her own experiences, the burden of being a scientist in a time of crisis, and the hope she felt when Ethan agreed to help them. In that moment, Ethan realized how much he admired Lyra, not just for her intellect and dedication, but for her kindness and strength. The bond they had formed was more than just a partnership, it was a connection that transcended their differences. Lyra, too, felt a growing affection for Ethan. His willingness to correct his mistake and his genuine concern for her people had touched her deeply. 
she admired his courage and the sense of adventure that had brought him to Xyla in the first place. When the time came for Ethan to return to Earth, the thought of leaving Lyra filled him with a deep sadness. They stood by the teleportation platform, holding hands, knowing that their worlds would soon be separated by light years once more. Back on Earth, Ethan continued his research, driven by the desire to one day reunite with Lyra. And every night, as he looked up at the stars, he knew that somewhere out there, under the same starlit sky, Lyra was thinking of him too. As Ethan settled back into life on Earth, he kept a close eye on any signs or signals from Xyla. He spent months perfecting his teleportation ability, hoping one day to return to the alien world and to Lyra. Meanwhile, Xyla faced growing tensions that threatened to erupt into war. Unknown to Ethan, Xyla's recovery from the instability of its core had not gone unnoticed by other alien factions in the galaxy. One such faction, the ruthless Silarian Empire, saw Xyla's resurgence as a threat to their own power. They coveted the Xylian heart's immense energy, believing it could amplify their weapons and technology. The Xylarian Empire launched a sudden and brutal invasion, aiming to seize the Xylian heart and subjugate the Xylian people. Caught off guard, Xyla's defenses struggled to hold back the invaders. Cities were bombarded, and many Xylians were forced to flee their homes. The once peaceful planet was plunged into chaos. In the midst of this turmoil, Lyra and her fellow scientists worked tirelessly to protect the Xylian heart. They moved it to a secret underground facility, guarded by the most advanced security systems. Despite their efforts, the Xylarian forces pressed on, determined to breach the facility and claim the crystal. Desperate, Lyra managed to send a distress signal to Ethan. Receiving the message, Ethan knew he couldn't stand by while Xyla and Lyra were in danger. Activating his teleportation device, he transported himself back to Xyla, arriving in the midst of the escalating conflict. Ethan quickly sought out Lyra, finding her at the hidden facility. Their reunion was brief and bittersweet, as there was little time for personal sentiments. Lyra filled Ethan in on the dire situation and the relentless Silarian assault. Determined to help, Ethan devised a plan to use his teleportation ability to turn the tide of the war. He proposed a daring strategy, he would teleport behind enemy lines, sabotage their command centers and disrupt their supply chains. This would create confusion and weaken the Xylarian forces, giving the Xylians a chance to regroup and mount a counteroffensive. Working with Lyra and the Xylian military leaders, Ethan identified key targets within the Xylarian ranks. With Lyra's technical expertise and the military's strategic input, they crafted a coordinated plan. Ethan would teleport in and out of enemy camps, planting devices that would disable their communication systems and weapons. The plan was risky, but Ethan was resolute. Under the cover of darkness, he began his mission. Using his teleportation ability, he infiltrated Xylarian bases, evading detection with his quick movements. He placed explosive charges on critical infrastructure and hacked into their systems, causing widespread disarray. Ethan's actions had an immediate impact. The Xylarian forces found themselves cut off from their commanders, their weapons malfunctioning, and their supply lines in shambles. Panic spread through their ranks as they struggled to understand what was happening. Taking advantage of the confusion, the Xylian forces launched a counterattack. They struck with precision and determination, reclaiming lost territory and pushing back the invaders. The tide of the war began to turn in Xyla's favor. Ethan's bravery and quick thinking earned him the respect and admiration of the Xylian soldiers. His ability to teleport made him a nearly unstoppable force, allowing him to strike fear into the heart of the enemy. However, the mission took a toll on him, as the constant teleportation and stress pushed him to his limits. During one particularly intense operation, Ethan found himself cornered by a group of Xylarian soldiers. Outnumbered and exhausted, he was prepared to make a last stand when Lyra and a squad of Xylarian soldiers arrived just in time. They fought off the Xylarian troops and rescued Ethan, bringing him back to safety. With renewed momentum, the Xylarians launched a final offensive against the Xylarian invaders. Ethan, Lyra, and the Xylian forces fought side by side, driven by the hope of freeing their planet from tyranny. In a decisive battle at the heart of the Xylarian command center, they managed to disable the enemy's flagship and force their retreat. The war ended with Xyla victorious, thanks to the combined efforts of its people and the critical help provided by Ethan. The Xylian heart remained safe, and the planet began to heal from the scars of conflict. The Xylians honored Ethan as a hero, and he was awarded the highest commendations for his bravery. 
In the aftermath of the war, Ethan and Lara finally had a moment to breathe and reflect. Their bond, forged in the fires of conflict, had grown even stronger. They stood together under Xyla's twin moons, grateful for each other and hopeful for the future. Ethan knew that his destiny was intertwined with Lyra and Xyla, and he vowed to stay by their side, ready to protect the world he had come to love.